So let's just look at this pedigree now that we briefly spoke at um, a patient, uh, spoke about pedigrees related to colorectal cancer. What would you do with this patient? So the patient that presented to me, and this is a typical patient for my practice, um, was this woman. Um, and at the time when she presented to me, she was actually uh, 32 years old, so certainly younger than when one would do average screening for colorectal cancer. And she said to me that her sister had endometrial cancer at the age of 46, and unfortunately she died from the endometrial cancer. So when I went on with her and asked her further about her family history, I asked her, does anybody else in the family have colon cancer? And she said to me, yes. Um, there, were not, there was a, a colon cancer in the family, but you know, um, it, it, it was actually uh, you know, her mom, uh, 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 her mom's brother had had colon cancer, um, and he was very close to the age of 50. Um, but her mom had also had endometrial cancer, and she was a little bit older when she, had when she had endometrial cancer. But when you sit and you look at this family history, you obviously recognize if all someone was asking this patient was, is there a family history of colon cancer, you would never recognize that this patient could be at risk for Lynch syndrome. And when I further probed her and recognized that there, the sister had endometrial cancer, the mom had endometrial cancer, and then that brother had colon cancer, it became obvious to me that there were three family members, two generations apart, and one with a Lynch-type cancer that was below the age of 50, and that prompted me, because these other family members, unfortunately, were now no longer alive to test. When we prompted her, she indeed did have Lynch syndrome, and now she's in very aggressive screening for both colorectal cancer as well as obviously endometrial cancer and the other cancers um, with this related to this syndrome.